What's good, chat? We back. Told y'all I was going to be back with the 2K. Ain't nobody online right now. So, we going to run the Madden. Part 2. Where we left off at week 11. Against the Jets. You know what I mean? Same shit. Trying to put the tweets out there, let people know I'm online. Trying to build something, Make sure we good. Make sure we good. We good. They got Jalen Waddle, Nick Bosa. Back in week eight, the Jets lost their first matchup against the Patriots. Can New England do it again? Find out next on EA Sports. to come in off the bye, so we should have two teams that are eager to get back at it. And players are creatures of habit. You can bet they enjoy the time off, but you know they're also ready to get right back into the swing of things. Next possession in a three-nothing ball game. This thrown quickly out to Cooper, and he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. 
And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Mm. Well, he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. The Patriots at 8-1 on the year, and they come in off the extended break from the bottom. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off and you're going to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where the open week fell. Second down, Williams. Oh, come on. That goes as a gain of 11. And a Patriot first down. Now that was an excellent move. And when you see that oh, happen, that's when you see guys <laughs> doing their job. And then some people doing a little bit more. It's a lineman and tight ends. They're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. There you go. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle, it's Williams. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. So in jet territory now. Here's first and ten. Down at the 33. First down carry, it's Williams. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. As they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. He's going to find Gallup here complete. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. They'll try and run. This is Williams. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll drop the throw. And that's going to be knocked away <coughs> in the end zone. It's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high stakes situation. If he doesn't make the play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Kenny Yaboa. His second touchdown on the season as they have taken the lead.
New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches work with. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They got 29 yards that time. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46 from the gun. It's a run for Williams. Just a yard on the pickup there to bring up a second and nine. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Now it's second and nine. Now back to throw. This one completes Alec Pierce. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Try to keep moving. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. These two teams, you might recall, met back in midseason, week eight to be exact. And it was the Patriots who got the win on the road, so they'll look to finish off the sweep here in Foxborough. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. They'll set up a throw. And he comes back with one complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 16. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But he certainly didn't like what he saw fall from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to a safety valve. Give defensive credit. Covered is in lockdown mode everywhere. Throw right side taken in by Gallup. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves it all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set. Now he's home from the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Javante Williams, his second rushing touchdown of the year. And the Pats will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position <coughs> thanks to the interception. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He finds Pierce. It's complete. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, 
find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. They'll look to throw again. And he slings one that's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially. He's going to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. But the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. So on comes Cairo Santos now for the field goal try. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. Santos' kick is up and through, and that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the... The Pats at the line, ready to go. They start the second half here with Williams. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 23 yards to pick up there. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. Williams going to get it again on second down. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Back to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And caught by Cooper. <laughs> Patriots touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots step the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. 
And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one of the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, we're well, about 95% chance. Oh, yeah, play. I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. 85 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So from the 36 now, first and 10. He'll drop to throw. And he'll sling that one in there. Complete to Cooper on a comebacker. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Williams. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to look in zone here for Cooper. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. <laughs> touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taking charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him. We are in the fourth and final quarter. The offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. Now Williams running left. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Henry Anderson there on the stop. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Stay on the ground with Williams. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Santos' kick is up and through. And that will extend their lead further. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still very... The Pats at the line, ready to go. Uh, CD, this is the ideal situation the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful, they've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own terms. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right, if it's college football, you want to make second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down. It actually aids the defense in that situation. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And this coaching staff, CD, I think you'd agree, pleased with this overall effort. I think they're more than pleased, right? They've got to look at each other like, wow, we just pulled this one off in a big way. Great job of motivating. 
even better job of game plan. They're facing a top 10 defense, so they had to make sure that everything was buttoned down and they had it ready to go, and their guys executed. Yeah, they were concerned not only about moving the ball through the air, but also on the ground. But both really started to come in sync. So for the Patriots, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 now. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Jets, it's a bit of a setback as they drop to 6-4 and four now. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears. Breakout teammate. Oh, what you want, man? <clears throat> Three touchdowns for 150 yards. I fucking hate this shit, bro. What's up with the injuries? Why y'all still be showing I got Lattimore and shit, so. Me and Gallup gone three weeks. Okay, Lattimore back. Both the tight ends. It's week 12 of the National Football League, and all eyes are on Javante Williams. He was steady for them on the ground a week ago, reaching the century mark and adding a score. 
It's the Pats and the Vikings on Thursday oh, geez, night. Uh, three touchdowns. For real. As this crowd rolled into U.S. Bank Stadium, they were bundled up. Jackets and scarves downright cold outside on this November evening. But all good here inside as we welcome you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Tonight it's the final morsel in our Thanksgiving feast, and we've got a good one in store between the New England Patriots and the Minnesota Vikings. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you look at this Vikings ball club. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they have certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason, and that can take you deep into January. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They start to drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The numbers for Williams a week ago, 20 carries, 100 yards on the nose, and a score. Well, obviously, he didn't have a great deal of time between games, having to turn around on a short week and get ready for Thursday night football. But he said in pregame, he was feeling pretty good and felt more recovered from last week's contest than he would have expected. Didn't seem to think this short week was going to affect him much as he chases a big performance here in prime time. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. But when you're able to break a run against a cover two or two deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guy's taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level. That offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. And making those linemen work with a couple blocks. They look good doing it there. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week in practice as if they were going to play. And when you have guys like that on your team, you got a chance for success when the injury ball hits. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try and pass downfield that fell into play. So on comes Cairo Santos now for the field goal try. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. Santos kick is up and through and they are on the board but still trailing it's seven to three so both teams come away with points the Pats at the line ready to go as mentioned this one of the hottest teams in the NFL riding that winning streak into this one but now playing here on Thursday night do you think that this helps or hurts their momentum so it hurts the momentum because now you get that short week. But when a team's playing as well as they are, it actually allows them to down focus and only worry about themselves and less about their opponent. So when you're playing well, you just worry about the things you're doing well and let the opponent deal with that. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And this one is incomplete. Well, once again, from all of us at EA Sports, happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's had a fantastic day on the couch. Belt unbuckled, feet up. This, of course, the night cap to a great day of football here on this Thanksgiving holiday. Oh, oh. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. Oh man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum 
big play right in his hand, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt on offense, and that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And a big 32-yard play on third. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Again, he'll drop the throw. Looking for and fighting Amari Cooper again. And he's going to get this down near the 25. The Patriots at 9-1 on the year. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that can ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. They stick to the ground game oh, on first down. It's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Cool. Second and right in the yard. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the three, second and a yard. They run it again mm -hmm. with Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Javante Williams. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 15 yards is the pickup there in the drive starting very nicely. First down. A nice throw there for the first down. And this is a big moment for this young man under center. You, you know, he's had a few months now to get Kevin O'Connell clearly unhappy with that call. And he's throwing that red shot. To so the, the challenge play. there is not going to be a way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Left side, he finds Pierce. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. A route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. His throw incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of all, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now the short pass again. He should be above 60 percent just to be in the average range. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Santos' kick is up and through, and that's going to tie us at 13. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together and maybe get into field goal range.
They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Steps away to his left. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Oh, Mark. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to throw here. Picked up by the linebacker Miles Jack. And the Vikings are going to have it here at their own 15. I did not even need to win in their group. That's bad. So far this season. Oh. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter. And Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and it's set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their oh, play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Yeah. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Called out a very strong gain of 24. Play action, they'll throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11. Back to throw again. Sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get him down in about the 37. What a short of the first. Oh, hold him. That's a hold. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it. Now that's my football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to need the ball back. Good job declining that ball. Santos' kick is up and through, and that'll bring him back with him four. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career. All right, let's go. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They go play action here on first down. And he's got Pierce. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, a 22. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back. And you end up getting the first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. Delivers another one to Pierce. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down.
Looking to throw. And Come the fuck on, And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back one more time. Didn't work there. From Viking territory now, they'll come on first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Again, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. 78 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Second and three. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Dancing to his left. And this is caught by Williams. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That goes for a gain of 31. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? The stretch are right there, turned it into a really nice game. They'll run it with Williams. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Javante Williams with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead here in this third quarter. The Pats at the line ready to go. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They begin the drive with Williams. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, fun, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. A first down there on a pickup of 25. They'll hand it off now, Williams. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's a second and seven. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. He'll drop to throw. Touchdown! Touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Patriots get an important score there to extend their lead here this fourth quarter. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down, now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this goal? My cop bad answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. We'll likely put an end to this thing. The busy night continues for Williams, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They give it to Williams, running right. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Every yard they gain, getting them better and better field position. And obviously, a field goal makes this a two-score contest. That's really all they need. And that means for your play caller, he's not looking to the attack portion of the sheet, right? He's looking for, okay, what do we have? It's going to keep us in a good spot. No lost yardage plays. Let's kick a field goal and go up two scores. Is this going to touch that? Great. That's not what you're really doing for. Give him two yards and sets him on first and goal. I'm assuming they're keeping this football on the ground, right? I would think so because you're looking at the clock. That's in your favor. You look at the you geography of the field, right where you are. That's it. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, oh, that should just about seal it. Um, about an hour. I'm Obviously, just such mad. an important, well-executed touchdown, and that caps off what's been a for strong two second half. Remember, they trailed yeah, the yeah, half time. Yeah, I feel that. I was on. That's the type of thing yeah, that every team of... talks about before a season begins. Don't worry about the scoreboard at the half. I did a lot of, I just said I was in the park all day yesterday, so I did a lot of, 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 Need to go get a raise and see if we practice that jump shot. Oh, I'll do that every day. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Oh, you see the jersey go live. You see the city jersey for the Bears? Mm-hmm. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, they did in this one. <laughs> Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. Yeah, you just have to do a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, <laughs> and that led them to victory. Damn, I'm streaming, so, so what? Ain't pants, no restart. Y'all was losing going into the third to quarter. And now they'll they get the back. Defense still is strong. To I mean, yeah. To face the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, their luck may 
Sorry. Come on out as they fall to four and seven now in the year. And they'll be back home next week for a date with Man, the New York Jets. Man, I feel weak ass. Throwing them in the system makes you want to start that bit. Man, that interception is weak as hell. I shouldn't even have aimed that bitch. I didn't even need to direct that bitch. I could have put it right on his ass, but I tried to get in that bag. Dude, that bitch too low. Motherfucking cornerback was right there. Picked that bitch dead off. Blue thing, it was the fucking end of the half. So it was just going into the half down seven. Came out, got a field goal, got a stop, then got a touchdown, then got a stop, then got another touchdown. It was like, oh yeah. Yeah. It's so good after that. Yeah. Boy, Amari Cooper. Getting it in. I did a fantasy draft. Like, I just made my quarterback. I wanted to play in the snow. I wanted to play where it was cold at. So I had just kept doing the fantasy draft until I got drafted to the Patriots. <laughs> you know, I got drafted by the Patriots. <laughs> so you do a fantasy draft, then after the fantasy draft, you make your nigga? No, you make your guy at the start of it. Like, when you setting everything up you make the guy and you pick the uh starting point fantasy draft mm -hmm. you know what i mean and when it start you just gonna start the fantasy draft and somebody gonna get you it ain't gonna be the team you put them on so it don't even matter what team you pick to put them on it ain't gonna be that team so how did you get them you say what? How I got on the I Patriots? Did. Yeah. I got drafted. Simulate the fantasy draft. Somebody gonna get you. That's the team you play for. Uh, oh, so you wanted to play with the Patriots and you actually got drafted by the Patriots. No, I wanted to really play for the Bears. Uh -huh. That's what team I created them and put them on. I wanted to play for the Bears. I really just wanted to play where it was cold at. It didn't matter where the fuck it was at. I just wanted snow games. I wanted to play in the Patriots. snow. So, the Patriots selected you. Right. The Patriots just oh, grabbed right. me. <laughs> like you. Mm-hmm. I should do that. I ain't gonna lie, that's that's a good way to do it because then you don't know who is where. Who is where. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you have no fucking idea who is where and... You know what I mean? You just you just play shit. Play? You, you 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 pick you you I look at a, your I rosters and sh you yeah look at your rosters. Shit, if you don't like it, shit, do it over, restart it. That's what I did. I had saved. I had auto saved it. Mm -hmm. So it, it took me a couple times. Like I had got drafted to Minnesota. I went to I got drafted to Miami. Fucking um. Tennessee, <coughs> fucking Seattle, <coughs> I mean, uh, San Fran, and then uh, New England had grabbed me. See, I had did that, <coughs> did that shit like four, five times. I don't give a fuck what my, what my roster is. Or what, I just want to make sure, gee, I don't give a fuck what team I play for. Long, hey, man, just have some five uniforms that I like. That's the next year. That's just me. Well, then that depends on what team you get drafted by. Shit. Exactly. If I'm like, if I get drafted by the Browns, I'm like, uh, nah, I don't want to play for the Browns. If I get drafted by, let's say, the Chargers, I'll probably play, I'll probably play with the Chargers because I don't, I do want to play in SoFi. Oh, <laughs> uh, Texas. See, like right if now, get, I'm number one get, in the AFC. Texas mm -hmm. is number two, Baltimore number three, the Raiders number four, Jets number five, Broncos number six, Kansas City number seven. Then in the NFC, San Fran one, Detroit two, uh, New Orleans three, Washington four, Atlanta five, <coughs> Seattle six, <coughs> and the Bears is uh, seven. You don't know who, where. 
I know Deshaun Watson did get picked up by Cleveland because I played Cleveland. Deshaun Watson in Cleveland. The Bills did give Von Miller because I'm going to play them now. Fucking the Bears got Patrick Mahomes, Chris Godwin, uh, Austin Eckler. But we fucked them up when we played them. He threw three interceptions. Like my running back, I got Javante Williams, then receivers. <laughs> running back, y'all. Then receivers, I got uh, Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, uh, Alec Pierce. He a rookie. And then uh, tight ends, I got Zach Ertz. He hurt for the season, though. And yeah. motherfucking, um, I got Cameron Brake. So he kind of, he, 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 he fit in and shit. Then shit, defense, I got, what, Marshawn, Lattimore. That's really all I really got on the defensive side. I ain't gonna lie. It was really Marshawn, Lattimore. Well, like, other than that, ain't nobody else hitting on shit. But, uh, I mean, the defense is straight, though. They better hold, they holding up better than I thought they would. Uh-oh, we got a rain game. That's what I'm talking about. We get all the weather playing in the rain. NFL 23. <laughs> rain, we snow. <laughs> we get all the weather. Any catch could be a big one. I'm talking about, He's the about, NFL man. leader in touchdown receptions. It's the Bills and the Pats under the lights on Thursday night. That's what I'm talking about. Bishop Magic Don wanted money. It is a chilly night here in the Northeastern U.S. with some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight we kick off week 13 with a great Thursday night matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. Fuck you on the left. With Charles Davis, some Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at the Patriots. They've got to be thinking, hey, we've got a good chance to be successful exactly. here running the football. No doubt about that, because that has to, go with to be their mindset. Uh, it should yeah, be their yeah, mindset. Yeah, this is one of the better rushing offenses in the league, and they're squaring off against a team that's not at all strong on the other side yeah. of the ball. Yeah. So this could be one where we see this offense try to impose their will through the trenches. I'm going to make some black and eyed peas and ham hocks and shit tomorrow. White rice. Oh yeah. 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 <coughs> I want some odds there, but I, I don't think I can get nothing in the I got to check. But I definitely want some <coughs> odds there. After a good <coughs> run, this offense will start with yeah, top field position guys. inside the 10. Yeah, I want to I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna make this here too. So I got the first to talk to him. So that should be the top part. If he did it like that. Yeah, you gotta soak the beans first, though. Yeah, I mean, you ain't gonna be able to put that, uh, that, that uh, ham hock in the crossfire. You ain't gonna be able to put that in the crossfire. When that shit, when you put it together, you just take the juice from your ham hock and put that in the crossfire with your beans. And let that rock like that. Pretty much. Well, you hear it every week now in the NFL. That's for sure. You know, back when I played the dinosaurs roam the earth, you didn't hear that man out and you heard all. I made that shit so much. <laughs> Probably made it right there. I made you 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 right there. I would do Kenny Beans and shit. The red beans and rice. Yeah. I'll do those two. That shit's man. So, you do it. Man, that shit's gonna be fire. Yeah, you know, the and that shit. That's the main thing. You know how that shit's supposed to taste. He's got a few more people in the box every time he lines up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that the defense has any choice. They've got to stop him. Can't let a repeat performance like that. Agreed. And this one caught by Cameron Brain. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. The first drive here, the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going... I'm not, I wish that nigga was still injured, man. We played so much better while he was hurt. He came back and slowed up. Damn, Javante Williams for running back. Cause we had two, we had, we was running, we was doing two running backs. We had Gus Edwards and Kerryon Johnson. 
So them motherfuckers is coming out just like how Ezekiel Eller and uh, Pollard do. We get, get, get in them trenches and shit, and then when Pollard touched that bitch, be gone. That's exactly how we was, dude. But both of them motherfuckers was averaging like 90 yards a game. And that's what they're all about. Continuity. Why you gonna put Tony Pollard? I ain't got Tony Pollard. Because I don't control the, uh, I don't control the shit like that. Like, I could do it every game on the depth chart, but I don't really want to do all that stuff. So. It just is what it is. I'm gonna let, let the rock and roll and rock. Absolutely, and you work all week getting ready for a game, and you know that the potential is there for him to run it. But you better take care of those receivers downfield. They can yeah, get you first. Why are you even going to put the team in that corner out of first down as well? Well, this is what you Did you set it up? Like, go to your starting point. He looks cool, he looks calm, he looks collected in marching them down the field. Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because look at all these guys' rookies. Go down offline. Uh, um, go to the one to the uh to the right. I don't know what to say. Update at the roster to send you a new new active Yeah, press X and the field says fantasy ground. Did he do it? New England with the first down as they begin the drive. And listen, these Thursday night games, they're tough on the body. You just played on Sunday, 72 hours later. Hey, it's game day again. But I have to think a Thursday night game in September much more preferable than a Thursday nighter in December. No? Well, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned how tough it is on the body. How about the mind? You're already tired, fatigued, right? Trying to battle for playoff spots. And here you have the quick turnaround. Now, the flip side is... If you take care of business, win that Thursday nighter, you go into a mini open week. Gives you a few extra days to heal up the body and the mind before you play your next game. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw here on first down. Again, it's Cooper as he makes the catch. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the third. Oh my god, bro. another fucking holding call. Get your shit together. Orlando Brown, the <laughs> former Raven, <laughs> guilty party. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. The Patriots at 10 and 1 now of the year, and they come in on the heels of yet another victory. That ran their Should be 11 and no boy, we'll now. talk about that long stuff. That last win, that established them and mm -hmm. stamped them to me as Super Bowl. Fucking Green Bay, but I accidentally see them the week. And you need that in order to go. You fucking lost about two of them. I like watching a wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes uh, it can break down. Looking for more there on first down. But this throw downfield, incomplete. What will look like a march to the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On third down, he'll drop the throw toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. That one goes for eight yards. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping, and dragging Ooh, to I make sure he gets it done. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And a solid run down inside the 30. Yeah. Seven yards mm -hmm. on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. He 
This thrown quickly out to Cooper. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. Oh, running back. Oh, he's not here. Yeah, I don't got him. I had not got Najee Harris on like three of the teams I had got drafted to. Oh, okay. What? From the red that zone DK? there, they look to throw. Touchdown. Number one. Jay 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 Third and fourth year wide. Oh, but you got DK. Yeah, I got DK. Hey, when I did man the Baltimore nigga, I had got Jalen Waddle, Chris Olave, and motherfucking um, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Quez Watkins. We uh Ooh. Dallas Goddard is my tight end. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. See, I got Noah Funk right now. Noah oh, Noah Fant, yeah, yeah, he decent. He yeah, like, I fuck with Noah Fant. But yeah, I was loaded yeah, when I did my shit with Baltimore, but I started over because I was in like season five when I called myself trying to really stream it. And I'm like, I don't want to start off in season five, so that's why I did. I did this one. Get a question for the people. Yeah, the conditions, the wind ball, things that nature. He said, I don't see the offensive line. Yeah, I got the trash O-line too, but I mean, it, it, I don't know, they, they, they play good. They play good. Oh, my God. No, no, no left in the bounds at the 25 yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. The only the only the 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 him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking okay. some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions. What position is you? And he did that. An incomplete pass oh. leads to second and 10 Allen? from the 25. He got drafted by I got drafted the team drafted. The quarterback? No, the good guy, uh, the linebacker. Oh. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. Jack, Jack, Jack. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey, you like that. Uh, uh, right there because of zone coverage. So timing okay. is everything. I got this time you wait for his man to come open. Okay. Puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Even there for me, I'm going to be. Yeah, I already know because I ain't proud of this shit either. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Phillips. And, and I only play offense. So. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. This is Phillips yet again. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 37. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Wide open, Amari Cooper. He's gonna go I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was kind of asleep on Amari Cooper. I wasn't happy when I seen him, but that nigga <laughs> is a Ralph magician. Like, <laughs> that nigga be where he's supposed to be. <laughs> I usually like a speed receiver. I like that speed to open the D up a little bit, but, but I mean, fuck it. Fuck it. You Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. See that on free, big and free and grind. Gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. And they'll let the fullback try and take him off. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Gabe Mabers. 
His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Patriots will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there, Manette. Oh, damn. They tried to get a two-for-one. Russia told them off of hell no. You right take now, her. They, touch turns to they got, they got somebody else. Possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like mm. they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. Oh, he got charged with that. They just been tracks oh. towards the opposite end zone. So, to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, Allegedly. there's no way they can stop us. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They'll set up to throw. He's got the connection to Cooper. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He was over 100 receiving last week. He's over 100 now this week as he's got a first down as well. They'll look to throw. That's complete to Pierce. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. <clears throat> the tackling in this game has not been good so far. We've seen our share of missed tackles. Case in point, that one right there. And that miss led to another big play. I don't know if it's effort. I don't know if it's technique. But they'll have to work on that in practice. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Man, I could not wait to get my fucking hot route. That's the only thing I hate about starting this shit over, bro. No hot route. route. Back to throw again. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You yeah, have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Flush to his right. Touchdown. Touchdown. Let's get it. Amari Cooper from 13 yards out. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this end of all things pretty quickly. That three touchdown. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? <laughs> Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called for. He's got him. Oh, Mari Cooper. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Mari Cooper, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Pats are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I know it be Cowboys. So this offense will head back out there. They're in excellent field position after the fumble recovery. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now in the ball game.
One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. He stiff arms it. Another six-yard carry, same as last play, first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And in that yardage game, they can run that plan any down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Touchdown! Amari Cooper, 34 yards. And the Patriots add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people were, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. here on first down letting one fly deep for Cooper and he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete I think it's barely safe to call this game over but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit too on second down Williams he'll get only oh, no, three third and seven ahead that's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock definitely ticking. Definitely controlling the whole offense. He just got it down on the third down. Full control. Oh, oh, oh. He's got a man. That's Fultz. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills. It's stupid. I, I was doing, I did that with one of my first ones. Yeah. Okay. Williams. Okay. And he maneuvers up the middle oh, for DK. three. And it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, you. right? Who can stand up and make a play? It's only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the goal gets tough in here. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on oh, ice as they've got it here. It's mad and they fucked it up. They lost the key thing that made last year mad so much better. And yeah. it's the player, like the, you can look at your player matchups and shit at the line of scrimmage. Like you can see how much faster your receiver is than the nigga he lining up against. You can see how tired he is and all that shit. They took that off. They ain't on him. They took all that shit in there. That shit crazy. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final That's stages. Seeing the motherfucking matchups at that line. That man. <laughs> That's all they do is all it. Only thing that they show is just the uh, Yeah, and that ain't really shit. Okay. I think you can catch that, bro. There we go. Nice. Good. 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 
do it. Get the ball for it. Yes, you do it, baby. Woo-hoo! Hey, guys, you can't go for it. Who you're running down? Javante Williams. Javante Williams. He's the second thing. Gus Edwards. Oh, when Javante Williams was hurt, it was Gus Edwards and Kerry on Johnson on the back by committee. They both was killing. Good ass for one, two, ten. You can't take that. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take at least. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this game. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun. So for New England, they continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11-1. And, and now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they fall to 6-6 six six now on the campaign. And they'll be back home next week for a date with the New York Jets. It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And our focus is on Amari Cooper. He rises when it matters most as he comes in third in the NFL in touchdown receptions. It's the Patriots and the Cards on Monday Night Primetime. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. 
Tonight, we culminate pivotal week 14 with a great Monday night matchup between the New England Patriots and the Arizona Cardinals. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Glad to be enjoying another week of football. And Charles, this is a contest that should make a former defender like yourself very happy, that's for sure, because we got a pair of top five defenses in the NFL squaring off. And opportunities to score, well, they figure to be extremely limited. And, Barney, you know my smile is wide because this is a lot of fun for a guy like me to watch, as you noted. And if there's something else that we both know that these teams take pride in, it's how well their defense have done in controlling games and putting them in a position to win. Something else they're proud of, though, how high they rank in the league. And they're trying to use this game to move up in those rankings and become the top defense in the league. gets ready to take over the football. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Nice. Keeps the sticks moving. Nice. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll have a pass midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards that time. Yeah. 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 The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And yeah. this is dropped. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A chance for a big play early secure it. The Patriots are 11-1 now on the year. And they've gone a full couple of months now since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And we always talk about how a team has to play complementary football in order to really be a good squad. I think in this league, if your offense isn't playing really well as this one is, you're not going to run off this kind of a streak. almost gets to the 10. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Javante Williams with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on the first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights on our meeting room and run through a situation like this. And said, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did something with that. Jordan Davis, just a monster on that play, stopping it from going anywhere. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Back to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now back to throw. And he'll sling that one in there. Complete to Cooper on the comebacker. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. And Potter Sterling Hoffrichter out now on fourth down. And a 
nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the... Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. The Pats at the line, ready to go. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on what the ground. The now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? He'll try again with the arm here on second down. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll look to throw here. Throw left side complete. That's Phillips. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. at the line ready to go and it's been a good first half so far they're up 14 to nothing points here that could really put them in command before intermission yeah and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now but it's the nfl how many times we watch 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly mm. so how do we have we seen them combat it continue to run your offense but don't back off at all don't start looking at the clock don't start thinking about hey just take care of the football Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back to throw now on first down. This one finds Pierce on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Oh my god, bro. Another fucking hold and throw. Apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position. Fuck, that's killing the feet. He got caught that time. <laughs> they got 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous ball. And it's just one. Run. You can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, but he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second and six. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. 
The Cardinals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And some secondary help here for the defense of the nickel on third and long. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams, a beautiful fake. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Sterling Hoffrichter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they'll get to this and touch it. Looks like, yeah, right at the 15-yard line. <laughs> This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. They start the second half here with Williams. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. He'll drop to throw. Come on. Defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 26 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32, a play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Williams. Come on. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 50 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They'll stay on the ground with Williams, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Javante Williams with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the... The Pats at the line, ready to go. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that, Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. What we saw there, that's what we know that he can do. He can break tackles and turn them into big runs, and that's what he did. And what is the buzz phrase nowadays in football for a guy like that? Contact balance. The ability to go through trash, come out the other side, avoid and run through contact, and keep your balance. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage yeah, stayed tight. Yeah. Nothing yeah. broke down. Yeah. Yeah. The way, that was his only option. Oh, good move. A good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. 
He finds Pierce. It's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 31-yard line. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run it with Williams. They'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Phillips. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Williams. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. The drop to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. It feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running block. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. to throw on third and goal. And that's incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on... So they surrendered three points, and now after the kickoff, this offense gets ready to take over the football. A give to Williams, running right. And some room to run now. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. 149 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out. Now he's home from the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? On the ground, this is Williams. And he's got it to about the 40. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And he's got room. On oh, a nice burst there as he take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives,
The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. It's right on the last two drives. So it feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. They run it again with Williams. And some room <laughs> And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 16 more on that one and another first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And they will take a knee here. Set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. No, do. This was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football's all about. A true team game, and they got it done in this one. So for the Patriots, the win moves them to 12 and 1 now on the year. And they will be at home for one next week against the Las Vegas Raiders. Meanwhile, for Arizona, it's unfortunately more of the same as they'll fall to 3 and 10 on the year. And they'll look to get back on track it's next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos. I have no idea. No idea. Oh, we got Asante Samuel Jr. That's nice right there. Look at him and Lattimore. Oh, you got your one too.
Now he want four touchdowns in the next game. Niggas just can't be happy with what you get. All right, chat. We going to end this here. We'll catch y'all next time. Hopefully we'll be on the 2K. Y'all be cool, man.